Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and start their financial freedom journey today. With that said, Merry Christmas to you. And um, I just want to go ahead and get right into the video and talk about what's happening with my Weeble portfolio as we always do on Fridays. And this Friday is no different. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're actually going to go ahead and skip the uh, intro today and get right into the screen recording because we mean business today. So let's go ahead and get right into it for you and I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button um, so it lets me know that I'm doing a great job. Um, if you haven't as well, make sure you go ahead and subscribe um, and join the journey as we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers to start um, and really build our platform. But as you can see guys, here we are with um, the market still open for another three minutes. Our net value is fourteen thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars and eighty two cents and this also comes as a surprise to me guys because i checked it earlier today and it was actually down a little from um the week um it was at like fourteen thousand four hundred dollars or something so to see it up another two hundred and fifty dollars is an absolute surprise but our total um net gain so far is forty four hundred and ten dollars and five cents we'll just say that because it keeps on moving but uh, we have gained about 43% return on this account, which is absolutely phenomenal, guys. If you know my story, you know that I started with two accounts, which only had $100 back in September of 2019. That was Robinhood and Weeble. Only $100 in the account. I didn't really start investing into the account until uh, February. I put $1,000 into each account. Um, basically spent most of that money on um, General Electric and then in March I took a full-fledged jump into uh, submerging myself in the market and learning everything that I could now I had done a lot of research on this stuff and I had done a lot of research on investing in general but um, you don't really get your feet wet until you actually get started so if, if, if you haven't gotten started today um, I do have a link down below um, where you can go ahead and get your first two free stocks from Weevil with a deposit of $100. That is a phenomenal offer, guys. This is a great uh, brokerage for you to use that is absolutely free. And with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Um, as you can see, we have a little bit of buying power, about $5.77. And that is from dividends that we have received um, over this month so far. But as you can see, our first position is Airbnb, which has actually recovered from the loss that it took um, within the first two or three days that we had the company. Um, originally, we bought Airbnb at an average price of $149.06, um, which came as a surprise to us because we thought we would be able to haul in about three shares of Airbnb on the day that the IPO was uh, set for public. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it decided to <laughs> Uh, triple uh, before it opened or before the market opened or before it became public on the market and with that said uh, it got all the way down to about $125 um, uh, unfortunately I didn't have $125 to spare to get another share to go ahead and dollar cost average but we still have the one share that we have and so in that time that we've had it we have gained $10.85 for a seven dollar or seven percent return on that company, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the next company we have is Rocket, uh, which is uh, ticker symbol RKT. As you can see, we have one share at an average cost of twenty dollars and sixty one cents, and it has gained a dollar fifteen, um, which is about a five and a half percent return, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, we did go ahead and buy one share of Coca Cola on the same day we got the Aaron B. B Airbnb share um, because of uh, you know the the plans being kind of uh, put out of whack with Airbnb going ahead and tripling in value or doubling essentially and so we went ahead and got one share of coca-cola which is up 76 cents since we bought it um, which is about a one and a half percent return which we're happy with we also have Avvi, um, which we have one share of that uh, that we bought at $86.26 and we have gained $18.19 for a 21% return so we're really happy with that we have three shares of main capital 
uh, Maine is doing very well for us and this is one of the companies that goes ahead and pays us a monthly dividend so we really appreciate that um, but we have gained two dollars and thirty three cents on the three shares we have for a two and a half percent return we also have four shares of workhorse group which is actually down right now um, down a dollar ninety um, which is a two percent loss but we're not worried about that. We actually probably will go ahead and get six more shares of Workhorse because we do believe in what they're trying to go ahead and do in the EV sector. Um, so moving forward, we have Genius Brands, which as you know, if you've been on my channel, is a um, company that does uh, cartoons. And one of the cartoons they have is with Warren Buffett. So I think they have a bright future. Um, right now, it's starting to recover. As you can see, we are up $1.50, which is an 18% return. Um, we also have CVS, which we bought one share at uh, an average cost of $65.99. Um, and we've gained $3.59 for a 5.5% return. Pretty great. Trying to figure out what exactly went up $250 in my account. I'm guessing Tesla at this point. But we'll check it out. We also have 10 shares of uh, Walgreens Boot Alliance. And so uh, we bought those shares at an average cost of $38.71. And we have gained $23.37 for a 6% return. We absolutely love Walgreens. And we are so happy that it's doing well. We also have Simon Property Group, which is actually down from its previous high. Um, down to $86.10. But we bought our shares at $68.06. So we have gained $90.18 for a 26.5% return. If you have not gotten in on Simon Property Group, I will say it again, go ahead and do so because this is an awesome, awesome company um, that you know saw some loss due to being a part of a pandemic and an economic crash. But you can I can guarantee you that this company will come back and uh, rebound um, as it already has. And it's only gonna get better. Um, it's original share price um, before the crash was like $150. If it gets back up to $130, that's a win for everybody. Um, so if you want to go ahead and get in on it, it's at a discount. Um, we also have Apple. We have 10 shares of Apple at an average price of $121.38. And as you can see, um, we weren't able to get more shares of Apple yet. So we've gained $58.62. Um, for a four and a half percent return almost five percent return we have bank of america which is one of the only stocks in this portfolio that is down we've lost 11 cents which is almost a half percent loss but we're not worried about that at all we also have cured dr pepper which has decided to go ahead and start to boom um, we've gained two dollars and 89 cents on the one share we have um, which is a 10 percent return we also have whirlpool which uh, we bought at uh, $137.04, and we've gained $50.96, guys, um, which is a 37% return. Absolutely phenomenal. We also have WW Granger, um, which is at $410.46, which means we've gained $81.61 on the one share we have for a 25% return, basically. That is fantastic as well. Um, we also have Fastenal, which we bought at $42.82 for the one share we have. We have gained $6.72, which is a 15.5% return. Um, the worst thing you can do, guys, is just spectate. You want to go ahead and get into the market right now. Um, you don't need to know everything about the market, but you do need to get started. So if you haven't, make sure you go ahead and do that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure you smash that like button for me and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you never want to miss out on any content that I post on this channel. And with that said, let's go ahead and get right back to it. Um, so Duke Energy, we have one share of that and it's doing very well. Um, it's gained $1.59 since we've had it, so it's almost a 2% return for that. Mercury General, um, we have one share of that. It's gained $8.67 for a 20.5% 20 20 return, um, which is pretty great. We also have Eaton Corporation, which has gained $27.79 on the one share we have for a 31.5% return. We also have uh, John Deere, which continues to you know, hit the ball out of the ballpark. Um, we have gained $114.21, um, which is a 72, 
almost a 72 and a half percent return guys which is absolutely phenomenal chevron starting to recover still slowly but surely it's getting back up to that position as you know we bought um our one share for 96 dollars and 20 cents and we've lost eight dollars and 80 cents on that so a nine percent loss that's only like the second or third company i've seen that is in the red right now overall but as you can see, we have five shares of BP, which we bought at an average cost of $18.50. And there is still uh, room for growth here, guys. I'd say about 6 to $7 of growth uh, can be attained from BP if you haven't gotten a position on that. Um, but so far, I've gained about $16.91, which is an 18% uh, raise, which is absolutely phenomenal. We also have BMO. Sorry about that, guys. We also have BMO, which... Uh, has paid us $20.50 in gain so far, which is a 37% return. Uh, BCE is um, starting to be in the positive. We've gained 38 cents for an almost 1% return. Assurant has went ahead and paid um, or started to gain as well. Um, we have gained $23.72 and we are up 22% on that position. As you can see, Tesla had a dynamic day to day and is back up to 677. Um, it, last week, I think the previous high was 666 or 665, something like that. Uh, we've gained 10 extra dollars on our six positions, so that's an extra $60. But it had a phenomenal day because I think it was at like 620 um, when the market opened today. So that's um, $300 gained today, which is why you've seen such a phenomenal uh, uptick since I checked myself. Um, so we've gained $2,725.43 on that position, which is a 204% return, which is absolutely great, guys. Um, we also have Helmrich, which uh, we have one share of that, um, which has gained us $4.25 for a 20% or 20 return. We also have Aflac, which is doing great. We have two shares of that in our position right now, gaining us $14.82, which is a 20% return. We also have one oak or OKE ticker symbol, which we have five shares of that. And we've gained $38.40. Um, and we are up almost 24% in that position, guys. Berkshire Hathaway, um, the affordable version. Uh, we have our one share here uh, where we've gained $40.07, which is a 21.5% return. We have Hershey, which is... Uh, we have for one share, we bought at $135.37. We've gained $15.51 for an 11.5% return. We also have Clorox, which is actually down right now, um, but we've only lost $1.06 um, for a half percent loss. We also have Goldman Sachs, which has gained us $50.49 for a 25% return. We have Amgen which has went ahead and paid or gained $2.69 for a 1% return. We have LAM Research, which is actually down right now. But we expect to get, to get back up to about $504 like it was. Um, but we still gained $209.64 for a 77% return, guys. We have Kimberly Clark, which is one of my favorite companies, um, which is down right now. So it's at a discount if anybody wants to get in. Um, we are down $5.97 for a 4% loss. We have DraftKings, which has stayed uh, steady um, with it gaining us about $40.92 for a 62% return. We have Diageo, which we have one share of that. We've gained $19.14 for a 13% return, 13.5% return. SKT continues to grow as we've gained $4.58 on this position. We have a 75% return, if only we'd bought more of that. Um, we have Meredith, which has, uh, we bought one share at an average cost of $13.39. It's gained $5.52, uh, which is a 41% return. We have two shares of Halliburton, which has gained $18.44 for an 87% return, guys. This is phenomenal. We have JetBlue Airways, two shares of that, which we got for absolutely free. For referring people to Weeble, uh, we have uh, gained $8.68 in this position, which is a 43% return. We have Viacom CBS, which we have two shares of that. Um, we got those for free as well at $12.77. They have still gained 
$44.98 since being in our portfolio, which is a 176% return. Um, we also have Snapchat, which was another free stock we got, the, the GOAT of free stocks. Um, we have gained um, $222.65 for a 532% return, guys. This is crazy. Um, Starbucks, shout out to Starbucks doing their thing. Um, we've gained thirty-seven dollars and thirty-seven cents for a fifty-six and a uh, fifty-six and a half percent return. We also have Southwest, fifteen shares of Southwest, my favorite airline stock, which has gained seventy-eight dollars and ninety-three cents for a almost thirteen percent return. WWE is starting to go up again. We have that at an uh, average price of forty-four dollars and twelve cents. So we've gained two dollars and thirty-one cents for a five percent return. Bank of Nova Scotia has decided to go off again. And so uh, we are up $158.77 or 76 cents for a 17.5% return. We have Ford Motor, 12 shares of that, which we bought at $6.86 during the decline. And we have gained $25.52 for a 31% return. We have our last stock that is in the red, which is VNQ, um, one that I'm very bullish on and want to get some more positions on. Uh, we bought that stock at $95.15. It is down $9.86 for a 10% loss. And then we have GE, which took a very long time to recover. But as you know, we are up today, um, up $93.59 for a 9.5% return. This is absolutely phenomenal, guys. We can't thank, uh, you know, just the success and the buy and holding technique enough for where we are um as you can see currently we're at 4412 dollars and 96 cents for a 43 percent return um so it's been great guys let's see how we progress to this point on monday we were at uh 12 or fourteen thousand seventy seven dollars and 98 cents on uh tuesday we were at fourteen thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and 99 cents on wednesday we were at $14,312.89. On uh, Thursday, we were at $14,568.67. And like we said, we gained another $100 today. So it's been a fantastic week. Um, just progressing as we go. If we look at the performance, we've gained $448 in the last five days which is absolutely phenomenal. In the last month, we're up $1,827.69. The last three months, $3,353.95. In the last four months, or six months, we're up $4,702.94 for 55% return. That is absolutely insane. We have dividends coming in. We have all kinds of stuff going on here. And we're just doing fantastic. So I will go ahead and stop the recording right here. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it and absolutely love it if you'd go ahead and smash that like button to let me know as an indicator that I am doing a great job on this platform. Uh, make sure you comment down below what was your favorite part of this video. Also let me know which stocks you're planning on getting in for the year 2021. With that said, have a Merry Merry Christmas and a blessed rest of 2020 and a great 2021. Um, God bless you guys. Love you guys. And thank you so much. See you in the next one.